So welcome to the Year 9 Options video for History. Now lots of you have already decided that history is where it's at, but for some of you, you're still trying to think about those decisions. Hopefully this little video is going to help you shed some light on what it is that we can offer and help you make that decision. So in terms of will I enjoy history, well really that is up to you. We look at a great range of topics which I will highlight shortly. Within this we also look at offering a range of trips. Firstly, we go to Norwich Castle. This is part of one of the studies we do, okay, where we get to have a tour of the castle and look at its journey through history. We're also going to be offering for you a trip to Hastings, to the Battle of Hastings site. And lastly, the 20, 21 to 23 cohort, that's you, we're going to be looking at a trip to Germany to see the sites of the Nazi past. So here I am at the Nuremberg Rally and oh my goodness, look, you can see this guy has just become leader of Germany. He looks quite popular. Well, as part of our GCSE course, what we look at is how he came to power, that's Hitler, and also how he controlled people. We look at propaganda, we look at terror groups, and then last we, look, we kind of look at the impact of World War II on the German people. Okay, now here we are at Stamford Bridge. Not that Stamford Bridge, this Stamford Bridge. This is the battle site in 1066 where King Harold of England wins a battle before suddenly having to march 200 miles south to fight William of Normandy. Now William, spoiler alert, kills Harold and manages to become King of England. The GCC course looks at how William controlled the English people when he became king and also the rebellions he faced and the castles that he built. As you can see, I am now stood outside Norwich Castle where we look at the history of the castle and how it's changed over time. From its conception as a Norman castle through to it being used as a prison where we look at crime and punishment and maybe a hanging or two. And then how it becomes a museum where we look at the exhi exhibitions that are there today such as this giant polar bear. So here I am stood in a medieval village. As you can see, it is quite primitive and people live very basic lives. Your study will encompass looking at life from 1250 to the present day, where we look at living conditions and how they changed over that time period. As part of your study, we also look at epidemics and how people respond to them, such as the Black Death when it comes to England in 1348 or when Jon Snow becomes a hero by removing the water pump handle in Broad Street. We also look at monumental changes such as when Princess Diana shakes hands with an AIDS victim to try and persuade people that it cannot be passed by touch. Our last visit to the past brings us to America, which is my favourite part of the GCSE course. Here we are in New York at the harbour welcoming the first president of America, George Washington. Yeah. So our course looks at how America transforms from the 13 original states right the way through to the 1900s. This includes looking at the lives of different groups of people. So the first group we look at is the Native Americans. The Native Americans are removed from the east into the west into reservations. We then look at the group of people known as the settlers, people that travel west for different reasons, be that whether it's to dig for gold or whether it is to escape persecution like the Mormons or equally for those who just want a new start. The last group that we look at are the African Americans. We look at their journey from slavery right the way through to them being freed after the Civil War. We look at how their lives develop and the new opportunities that they are given. Unfortunately, I don't have all day to talk about the GCC course for history. However, I hope I've given you a bit of a flavour of what it is that we are look at. So we as the history department love our subject and we hope that you will too. To finish off with, I'd just like to leave you with some comments and views of both the History Department and also other students that we have taught, just so that they can tell you how brilliant our subject is too. Thanks. <laughs> oh, uh, hello, you guys. Um, for those of you that don't know me, I'm Mrs Lucas. I'm one of the history teachers at Farlingay that hopefully could be teaching you for GCSE History next year. Um, I think that... For me, one of the most interesting parts of the GCC is the public health unit. 
Um, I've always found it really interesting thinking about how people have responded to diseases and health crises throughout um, history, right from medieval times up to the current day. Um, and obviously it's, it's particularly relevant at the moment with what we're facing. Um, and I think it's really interesting to think about similarities and differences in how we've responded through time. Hope to see you next year. Hi Year 9, Miss Alma here. Why should you choose history? Pretty simply, it's one of the best subjects going. Okay, but why is that really the case? History is fantastic because not only does it help you to understand the where you fit into the world, it helps you to understand why the world is the way which it is today. It covers everything. It covers food, it covers politics, it covers love, it covers society, it covers wars, everything and anything which you could possibly find interesting fits into history okay and if you want to know why there are tensions in the world today it's by studying history which allows you to get to know that okay it's fantastic not only that but it's the skills you learn in history which you can take forward into the rest of your life we're surrounded by fake news today everything is on social media constantly news is being thrust into your face on your screen but history allows you to understand the warning signs and where to look and how to unpick the lies and the truths into anything which is put in front of you today. That's why history is so fantastic. Choose it. Hello, Year 9. I'm afraid Mr McDonald can't make it today to talk to you about GCSE, so he's asked me to do it. You should all choose GCSE. You can learn all about me and my relatives and how we spread disease through the centuries. Uh, history, it's clearly the best subject, taught by the best teachers. So in terms of will I enjoy it, really that is up to you. As you've seen, we study a whole great range of topics, and so I would say the answer is yes.